Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand about the try and accept. It is a very much important topic and it will help you a lot in a error handling. In a python code it is a very much important to handle all the kind of the error because if you will not handle error in a code because, because of that all the system may crash. Your all the application may crash so it is very much important to handle a error and uh, to write a proper code. So that only we are going to learn in this particular video. So let's start. Let me take one example and let me show you. Suppose I am creating one function. I am creating function divide and what is it is doing? It is taking a two argument and what actually it will do? It will just divide it. Result equal to the x slash slash y. And what I will do? I will just return a result. A result. This is the uh, thing actually it is doing. Now uh, this is the function I have created and I have done the few testing. Suppose I will do 10 and the 2. This is the 2 thing I will pass. It is giving me 5. So it is working fine. Suppose I will give 18 and 2. It is 9. So it is working fine right. So I thought like this function is working fine. Now uh, what I will do I will deploy this into the production because this function is working fine. Now suppose in a production you have deployed and any user came and what they have done they have passed this y value as a 0 now if i will execute this you can see i am getting the error because of this error if you will not handle your whole system may crash so it's very much important to handle your code so that's why we have a concept of the try and accept so that only we are going to understand so let's see how actually we can uh, write a proper code so what i will do i will create a same kind of the code divide and I was passing a two value right x y now what I will do instead of writing directly I will use a try and access so first I will write try under this try you have to uh, mention all the code which you want to do suppose I want to do x divided by y this actually I want to do and I also want to return a result right this I want to do now if any error comes so for that what actually I will do it should go into the accept so what actually it will do I want to do a logging why it is why error is coming so suppose if I will just write accept print equal to the error occurring error occurring something if I will write and if I will execute now what actually I am doing whatever the code I have written right I am writing under this try so under this try all the code I am writing and under this accept right I am just writing print error occurring something. Now in this case now in this case if I will write a 18 and the 2 you can see it is working fine. Now if I will do 0 if any user is passing 0 so you can see it is going into the error occurring means my code is getting executed and it is not a breaking like this previously it was a breaking and we were getting an error. But in this case what actually happening it is just a printing printing an error occurring uh, if anyone is passing a 0. So that's why it's very much important to use a try and accept and to handle your error properly. So this with the help of the try and accept you can handle your code properly and this actually you can use it for the logging perspective also like uh, where actually your code is breaking. So whatever this log right this actually you can print into your, your log. So here directly what I am doing I am just uh, printing uh, error occurring but you want to know what is the actual error so how actually you can write that. So we will write the same code instead of accept what you have to write accept exception as e. So what I will write I have written accept exception as e now I am just printing this e whatever this e right this actually I am printing and now if I will execute now suppose anyone is passing 0 here now in this case what actually happening it is exactly telling me what is the actual error you can see it is saying me integer division or module, module division by 0 because of that this error occurs and this kind of the error actually you can save into your log to handle it in future in this case what actually happening my code is executing and if any kind of the edge case scenario because of the code is breaking so in that case what actually happening it is just printing it is not breaking the whole code it is just printing it and this actually you can log it so that's how it's very much important to use a try and accept to handle any kind of the error
let me take another example suppose uh, i will just tell you the use cases where all this all the error can come so one use case is like suppose uh, what actually you are doing you are reading a file reading a file from a location from a location for that you have written a code now on some day what actually happened on that particular folder on that particular folder that file is not available on that particular folder that file is not available and because of that your whole code can break right because you are reading that particular file and if that file itself is not available in that case what will happen your code will break so if you will write like try and accept in this case what will happen you even though your code is code is failing but it will go into the exception it will it will just print the exception it will not it will just raise the exception it will not break your all the codes but if you will not handle this try and exit in this case what will happen your whole code will break and your system will make crash so that's why it's very much imp important to use a try and accept there are multiple ways like here you can see right division so i have written like accept exception as e similarly you can also write the zero division error zero division error now if i'll execute this you can see zero division error is coming so like that the, there are multiple ways to write but if you will write like this that will suffice means this will give you exact error what is the error is coming if it is coming from because of the file issue then the file issue that will be printed and that actually you can log so i hope you got the idea like how actually we can use a try and exit and how to handle the errors